Hey hello everyone and welcome to our Shifai Finance and Operation Module Wise Training Series. So in this episode we will configure the posting setup for the purchase order. If this setup is not configured properly, your voucher will be not posted and your ledger setup will be not completed. So let's get started. So first before setting up the posting accounts, we need to go to inventory module, inventory management. Here we have item model groups. Let's select the item model group which we have created. So inside the item model group we need to make sure that in the ledger integration post physical inventory and post financial inventory must be enabled and for the physical value for the cost prices make sure it's enabled so if you want to know detailed information about the item model groups you can check out our video in the i button we have already discussed about the item model group so let's we move to the other setups now we go to the account payable module here we have accounts payable parameter so in the first general tab you have product receipt post product receipt in ledger toggle must be enabled if this toggle is disabled you are not able to post any product receipt so let's move to the some important setup so the next important setup is a posting profile so again we go to the accounts payable parameter inside ledger and sales tax you have posting profiles so here you to create one posting account under posting so here i already created general posting tab you just click on the new and create one posting profile let's add inside the setup here in the account code we have option like you can set the vendor posting for particular vendor you can also set up the group and you can also set up the all in the general practice we select the group over here and select the vendor account group so whatever group you have selected inside that group all the vendor their account will be posted for this particular account so for the simplicity i have selected all now so as soon as i selected the all you can see over here in the account section it's disabled because whatever i account selected in the summary account will be used for all vendor posting so here i select the account payable so we have configured like all the vendor posting will be happen for this particular account and this account will be credited here you can create as many vendor posting profile you want but you can set only one posting profile as a default posting profile so let's set up this posting profile as a default one so we again go to the account payable parameter inside account payable parameter in the ledger and sales taxes here we select our new posting profile as a default posting profile just save this so this setup is done for the credit but whenever you purchase something your inventory cost will be increase and your inventory amount is must be debited so for this we need to configure the debit accounts so again we go to the inventory management inside inventory management under the posting you have posting so here let's select the purchase order because we are currently doing the posting setup configuration for the purchase order so before we configure the account setup first i will show you what exactly happens when you post the product receipt or post the invoice so let's i'll go to my excel so i have created the excel over here so let's take an example i have created one purchase order add item in that purchase order which cost of the 500 dollar so now i post the product receipt and receive that item so in that case what happens this 500 dollar gets debited for the my inventory account so here i name is as a inventory received but it's not invoiced yet and so the account is debited for the 500 dollar this account is a temporary account which hold your inventory cost why i called it as a temporary account because it's hold your inventory cost till you post the product receive which is not a final item cost your item cost might be increased at the time of invoicing so your final inventory account is posted when you invoice that purchase order so at that time I, we have post the product receive your account is debited for the 500 dollar in the temporary account so at this time we have posting the product receive your account will be debited temporary and when you post this invoice this debit entry gets reversed and post again for the final cost price this vendor accrual account is an also temporary account so when i post the grn or product receipt this account will be credited for the vendor account and at the time of invoice it get debited so let's summarize for the product receipt when you post the product receipt your inventory account is debited and your vendor account is credited so now we move to the invoice when you invoice the purchase order your temporary inventory re received is credited with the 500 dollar and your vendor accrual account is debited so i'll make it as a gray 
so better understanding you can see in the product receipt this account first inventory received is debited but for at the time of invoicing it's reverse and it's get credited and same for the vendor accrual account in the product receipt it's get invoiced at the time of product receipt it's get credited but at the time of invoicing it's reverse and it's debited and the below two are the permanent account when we post the invoice for the purchase order our inventory account will be debited for the same amount and your accounts payable which is vendor posting accounts will get credited so this is the final impact when invoicing is happening one more important thing i need to mention here that for the indian company they have concept like expenditure account posting so for indian company or legal entity of india we have additional setup which you need to configure so if you want to know this setup please let me know in the comment section so i'll make a video for this also so let's continue with our posting setup so here first cost purchase material so let's again go to our excel in the inventory revised we need to set this inventory revised account in the cost of purchase material received so let's I'll click on the new here you also have the option like table group and all if you select the table you can you can set the single item and set the single account for the posting for the group you can select the group over here by using the group you can select the item group here and this all the item group so inside item in that item group all get posted for this main account so for now i selected the all so i have consider all the item and for the vendor account also i have selected all vendors to be post for the particular account so i have selected inventory received but not invoice account so let's save this one so our this setup is done the next is a vendor accrual account so i need to set the vendor accrual account so go to purchase accrual so for the vendor accrual we click on the purchase click on the new here we set the all for the item same all for the vendor and select the main account on the all accrual purchase so we set the accrual purchase over here so this setup is also done so the next setup is inventory account for the inventory account in the third tab we have cost purchase material is invoice so here also i'll need to mention the inventory account set all in the main account select the show inventory account so our this setup is also done for the account payable we have already mentioned in the posting profile so i'll go to posting profile i'll show you again so in the accounts payable parameter in the sales and general in the general tab you can see over here in the vendor posting we have already set this account so this accounts payable setup is so done so let's enter the main account number over here so when we create a purchase order in our future episode i will demonstrate you this voucher posting for particular accounts so main accounts this account we set for the vendor this account we set for the accounts payable next is inventory account go to posting inventory management posting purchase order first account payable with this one next the vendor accrual so inside purchase accrual for the inventory account so our posting setup is done now for the purchase order now we have one more thing we need to check before create and post the purchase order so we can go to general ledger module module inside module we have general ledger module school apps all inside ledger setup we have general ledger parameter inside the batch transfer rule your batch transfer rule must be asynchronous when you make asynchronous mode your sub ledger entry will be happen quickly so our final setup is done so from the next video we move to the purchase order creation and the purchase order process so in that future episode i will demonstrate you the whole process of the posting of the voucher entry so for this stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching